What are some good things happening in the world right now? Scientists have discovered a worm that can digest plastic, and they are currently trying to copy its digestive system. This can help solve a huge problem. Edit. Wow, thanks kind strangers for all the upvotes and awards, they are much appreciated. They found a baby mammoth so that's pretty cool. The public release of the first images captured by the Webb Space Telescope is just 10 days away. Several extremely promising treatments for cancer are being developed. On the surface of Mars, the Mars rover was able to successfully separate oxygen from carbon dioxide. Polio was officially eliminated from Africa last year. More people are seeking to break the cycle of all the crap they had to deal with as children, and I couldn't be prouder. What are the biggest lies that porn makes people believe? That lesbians finger each other with long acrylic nails. Everyone can afford big beautiful homes. Rubbing her clit like you're trying to start a fire doesn't turn her on. I've noticed something lately where they basically grab hold of the girl's pubic bone like she's a bowling ball and shake the living daylights out of her. The girls in the video seem to love it but I have a strong feeling if I tried that on my wife I'd be sleeping on the couch for the rest of my life. That missionary is boring. Makes it seem like if you're not doing acrobatics, you're not having good sex. That women like to fuck their stepson. If you don't have your wallet or purse at hand you can pay for pizza through sex. Plumbers arrive five minutes after being called. What is your all-time favorite television series? How it's made. At a young age, I learned to be curious about everything, including how things work and what they're made for. And, of course, how they are made. When I found out about this show, I just had to see what it was about. I got to see everything of everything being made. From jellies to cruise ships. It was an amazing learning show to me, and I loved seeing how everything we use daily is created. Edit. Thank you for the awards. Also, to everyone asking about where to watch this show, I've found that it is available to watch on Discovery+. Plus. It may also be available on YouTube if you look up the name of the show. Edit 2. I sleep for 6 hours, and I wake up to all of your comments and upvotes. Thank you all so much for sharing your memories. It's so awesome to see so many people like me who love this show. What's a sign that someone grew up poor? Lack of exposure to cultural events. Missing out on experiences that others may take for granted, such as attending concerts, traveling, or participating in extracurricular activities. Still being poor. Odd hoarding behaviors of things you probably should have gotten rid of out of fear you won't be able to replace them easily. I keep a stack of boxes broken down because there's still this fear in the back of my mind that I'll have to move again at a moment's notice. I make a decent salary now and have lived where I am for nearly 7 years, but I still can't part with those boxes despite the space they take up. Under the bed, behind the chest of drawers yeah, I still have them. The mental struggle to buy anything and not feel guilty. I wasn't in the know with all the cool Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon shows. But I did watch Arthur, Cyberchase, Clifford and Dragon Tales. Reddit. What did y'all think of the Jesus commercials during the Super Bowl? The founder of Hobby Lobby funded it. Not sure how Jesus would feel about an LLC in his name, it was at the bottom of the screen. Why does God need a marketing agency? James T. Kirk. I don't think the reason people aren't into Christianity anymore is a lack of awareness in Jesus so I'm not sure what the point was. Yeah, I think I would have been a big fan of Jesus. But his modern followers seem to have lost the plot. Churches should pay taxes instead of $7 million ad spots. This 100%. You can pay for a fucking Super Bowl ad. You can pay taxes. Kind of feel like Hobby Lobby could be spending all that money actual Christian pursuits like addressing homelessness, paying a livable wage or not stealing artifacts from other countries.